All right, in action, go right ahead, Joe. And yep, perfect, that's good. I had a, a tall grass and weeds case at a property um, in my district, and I went to uh, the property and, and I was looking and in, in doing my investigation, and I, I found there was a violation of tall grass and weeds at the property. Uh, so I do what I always do. I saw some neighbors are walking around and talked to neighbors and um, found out that the homeowner was, uh, according to them, had been deceased uh, since uh, or several months before this complaint came in. I was really looking for uh, somebody that would be responsible for that property after that. So I confirmed after that with the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office that um, she, the property owner was deceased and there was no next of kin listed with them either. The grass was actually mowed by neighbors. We um, closed out our case. And I just, I drive through that neighborhood frequently in, in my times uh, driving through. I would just drive by and uh, for well over a year and you know, somebody kept mowing the grass in the front yard at least. Uh, with no more real complaints on it. And then oh, this is well over, a year and like three months later I was driving through that neighborhood and I saw a dumpster out front in the driveway and some people were working on that house and I was like well somebody's finally purchased this house because I never saw it on any kind of Travis County um, foreclosure list or uh, we, we routinely check that I, I routinely check that to see if I have any properties that are on that list that they're auctioning off and I never saw that address on there. So I went back to the Travis County website and searched the uh, county clerk records. And I saw that um, there was no sale from the county on that address, but there were a couple of documents that were done not too long ago. And I read the document and one of them was a durable power of attorney. And it was giving the homeowner um, power of attorney over any kind of financial decisions that she made. And this document was signed and notarized and I found that the homeowner had signed this uh, about a year and a half after she had been deceased and it was notarized. So um, I told my supervisors about it and I said I, th I think this is a um, obvious case of fraud. So, so I made a police report. Um, and it was followed up by the Austin Police Department White Collar Crimes Unit um, and found out that the documents that were listed with Travis County were forged um, and the decedent was never signed these documents and the house was uh, eventually sold to an investor company and they were starting, when I saw the activity at the house, they were actually starting to clean it up and prepare to flip it. Uh, the White Collar Crime Unit um, pursued the uh, person that was given the power of attorney. The code violations were for the tall grass and weeds was all the only violations that I had because I could never get into the property. Um, but, but as my understanding, neighbors have just been constantly uh, keeping up with the property, um, mowing it when it needs it, and therefore my violations were closed. Um, the only thing pending now is the police department's uh, charges. Hi, my name is Joe Lucas, and this is my story as a code inspector.